Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we discuss the following question which says make a line graph for the information in the table given below. The table given below gives us the information of the scores in five English tests. We are given the number of tests that is the five tests 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and the corresponding scores that is the scores obtained by a student in different five tests. Now we need to make a line graph for showing this information. Let's move on to the solution now. Now first of all, the number of each test that is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 is represented on the horizontal reference line and the scores are represented on the vertical reference line. So this way we have represented the number of each test on the horizontal reference line and the scores are represented on the vertical reference line. Now from this table we see that in the test 1 the student scored 30 marks so we get a pair of numbers as 1, 30. Now in the second test the student scored 50 marks so the second pair of numbers would be 2, 50. In the third test the student scored 40 marks so the third pair of number would be 3, 40. In the fourth test the student scored 20 marks so the other pair of numbers would be 4, 20. And in the fifth test the student scored 80 marks so we have another pair of numbers that is 580. Now on this graph we need to locate the points for these pairs of numbers. Like first we have the pair 130. So we are going to locate this point 130 on this graph. Now first we have the number 1. Now from this point 0, we move 1 unit to the right to reach up to the number 1. Now from here, that is from the number 1, move 30 units up so that we reach up to the number 30. So we get this point. So this is the point which represents the pair of numbers 1, 30. Now in the same way, we locate the point with the numbers 2 and 50. For this, first of all, we will move 2 units to the right from the number 0. So we reach at this point. Now from this point, we move 50 units up so that we reach at this point which represents the number 2 and 50. Next, we have the point 3, 40. For this again, we will move 3 units to the right from the point 0. So we reach at this point and from here we move 40 units up so that we reach at this point and this point is 3, 40. Next is the point 4, 20. For this again we move 4 units to the right from the point 0. We reach at this point and from here we move 20 units up. That is we reach at this point. So this is the point 4, 20. The next point is 5, 80. For this again we move 5 units to the right from the point 0. 
So we reach at this point and from here we move 80 units up to reach at this point. This point is 580. So we have located all the points on the graph that we got from the table. Now to get a line graph we will join the successive points by line segments. So as you can see we have joined the successive points by the line segments to get a line graph. So from this line graph you can easily make out the performance of the student in five different tests of English. This completes the session. Hope you have understood the solution of this question. Have a good day.